Hello everybody, welcome to Boy Entrepreneurs. My name is Kili and to my right here, I'm sure you guys know this guy, Dorado Roman. Thank you so much for coming out, cuz. Of course, of course. Yes, yes. So this is the place where we connect, collaborate, and create. And we have the honor of one of the best. One of the best, boo. Yes, yes, bro. One of the best artists is here. And uh, we're, we're here to kind of tell a little bit of his story and, and a little bit of what you've been doing, bro, on top of this. But um, before we get into that, if you don't mind, let us know a little bit because I know this is, you know, you got a couple albums out, right? Yeah, right? yeah. So how much albums do you have out all together, bro? Um, four. Four of yep, them, right? And albums. this is the fourth yep, one, right? Yep, Winter, fourth one. Dude, I gotta say, yeah. man, that the, the tracks on top of that is just like, cause <laughs> I feel it, man. The first time Thank I, you, bro. first time I listened to it, I was like, wow, dude, you really, really dug deep and you really kind of went there, huh? Yeah, it went, it went, it goes really happy. It goes real dark too. Uh, but all of us have to grow through challenges, and then, but the triumphs are always beautiful too. So that's what it's about: summer and winter, the cold and the hot. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's how you got that title. Pretty much then. the thought process, yeah, of Bro, bringing that's... that summer, like that warmth, to a winter cold. That is awesome, dude. That's awesome. So, be being you know, summer to winter and stuff. How 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 long, I guess, was this kind of in the mix, and and how long did it take you to? Because I mean. We all kind of know, I mean, you write your own music, bro, mm. right? You write your yeah. own music, lyrics, and all that stuff. So yeah. I know, you know, as an artist, bro, it can be tough, man. That's why you got to be super creative, bro. And that's, yeah. that's, what, that's kind of right. what, what you got on top of that, right? So tell us a little bit how long it took you to, to, to make this album. Man. In the amount of songs that it took to write this, it took about, uh, it took about five years. To, For real? Yeah, it took five years of life experience, traveling the world, and a lot of the songs I, I I wrote like maybe maybe forty different songs along that process, but these were the most I would say impactful ten songs that I could choose out of that five years time. And so, as a as a songwriter, you have to go through a lot of good and bad to have inspiration. Yeah, and yeah. so um, when I did that, the last song that I ended up putting on that I wrote was Summer to Winter, which is weird because all the other songs were just kind of like the puzzle pieces. Mm -hmm. But Summer mm -hmm. to Winter, that song I wrote um, about a year before the album came out was the thing that tied it all together. And so, yeah, it was like five years of writing and it's kind of weird. You cannot force yourself to write something. Sure. It just it just happens. You know, it just, yeah. it's just something you, something you discover. But you have to be happy to find it even my most depressed songs i wrote when i was happy because because you have to embrace the pain that you've gone through so nice. that, so yeah that whole five years of time it took to record it and write it yeah. that's that's crazy man i mean you're talking about 40 songs there's probably 40 plus bro really <laughs> yeah i yeah. mean different ideas and different songs but yeah you just got to follow the ones that that really touch your heart and that you feel will touch the heart of your audience. Would you say that this album here is your your, your most like everything in yeah, it, dude? This album was my favorite album I've ever done. Yeah, probably because I put all my heart into it and I, I put every experience I could from round and round to to uh, summer to winter to heartstrings to all of the different songs that form um, just either love or heartbreak yeah you know? bro i felt that that heart strings on is just <laughs> woo, man thank you bro. on top thank of that you. so stoke for you on top of that so bro we know who you are you know you got hit after hit bro you know i know it, it took some 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 time and, and some years and stuff and even even this one he said it took five years bro that's 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 unbelievable yeah that's i hope it doesn't take work. five years for the next yeah. one yeah yeah <laughs> true that so. bro true that so <laughs> we all know the kolohi guy you know um but what I think our viewers would like to know, bro, is is not where you're at now, bro, but the steps it took mm. you, bro. You know, as the young boy, right. the local kid running around, yeah. right? So I know your roots are kind of on the east side a yeah. little bit, yep. bro. So um, growing up, bro, if you don't mind, maybe just sharing a little bit, like mom and dad and stuff like that, bro. How how was that kind of? Yeah. Well, while, while you were growing up, man, were they were they kind of supporting you, mm -hmm. or, or or you you you, you go ahead and yeah. Share so me, my bro. my parents um my my dad is real musical and um he he taught me how to play guitar when I was eleven, and um in my family music always ran deep in um our culture you know Kani Kapila backyard of style course, and bro. so yeah, yeah. when I was young I used to just follow my dad around and try to copy his fingers and just seeing my dad you know in 
seeing how much fun he had with his friends jamming. It, that's how I grew up with the with the old scratch board and fork and the spoons <laughs> and yeah, like, yeah. You know, playing drums with beer cans and chopsticks. Kind nice, of, you know, and bro. That, that was my foundation of like loving music, but I never thought of it as a job while while playing because all I did was I just loved it as a hobby, and then as I went to high school, yeah, um, yeah. I started realizing that. Well, a lot of people like to play play music with me and I and then we, we all formed this group and um we did brown bags to stardom. I remember and that so bro, we used to play, I, yeah. I remember that. I remember seeing you guys on TV and I was like, bro, how's this, how's yeah. these kids right there just, just killing cakey. it? Bro. Just cakey, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just kids playing brown bags to stardom. So I did brown bags, um, and then during that same time I um got recognized from a um from a record label here in Hawaii. Um, they were representing Rebel Soldiers and OP Pickers at the time. Oh, nice. And for me, I, I was just like, oh, wow, really cool. He, um, that, that label asked us to come in. We recorded a bunch of songs. And then as time went on, um, I got signed to them on my senior year in high school, recorded Ehu Girl, Cool Down, released that as my first album, which is called This Is The Life. Yeah, yeah. And um, then after that was just all touring from after high school. Um, went to New Zealand and, and got a band together. You know, it was my first time actually touring and doing shows, and yeah, it was it was a lot of learning lessons, a lot of a lot of uh, letdowns because, as you know, as you're growing in any industry, there's so much, there's more failures than there are successes of course, in any job. So I had to go through all of those, and um, I'm still going through that. Every every, I don't think any musician today can say that they finally got all their kinks out of the road. So. But yeah, just just went through there, and then ten years later, here we are, fourth album, and yeah, still learning, but still catching cracks, but <laughs> but, but 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 growing, yeah. yeah, and that's all that really matters, just growing. Absolutely. So yeah. so you just mentioned that you know, dad was a big influence with singing and stuff. So you're you're telling me like when you're 11, bro, is that where it kind of yeah, started, it started from bro? then from yeah. 11. So yeah. so 11 years old, mm -hmm. you're following pops. Dad, bro, show me this. Mm -hmm. Dad, show you so. Brown, brown bags are starting comes yeah, and you're 14, 15. I was like 15. Yeah. 15. So you're a, you're sophomore. Yeah, sophomore or junior, junior year. Junior year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then senior year came out with 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 Kaloi Kai. Everything else on top of yeah. that. Yeah. So that transition, bro, because that's four years, bro. Yeah. Like a lot. Of, if you're starting from 11, nobody right. knows you, bro. Yeah. You know for what sure. I'm saying? Yeah. And and you know you're going to school, you're figuring this. Boom. Brown bag hits. It's is it like the next day you're like, oh bra, like people know who I am. I, I don't think I don't think even to this day it ever phases me. Like in regards to like, like oh wow, we we made it. Cause I don't think we ever made it. I still feel like we have so much to go, and I feel like like um, that. Listen to that, guys. I I think that once you feel like you've got where you need to be, you'll never go further. And so I think for me, I always just appreciated. I never thought like oh wow. I'm somebody because I'm not. I feel like if you always view yourself as just as nobody, then you're gonna be somebody. But if you think you're somebody, you're nobody. I like that. So bro. you gotta you gotta be I humble like that, about, about what you're doing. Yeah. Because you know? because there are so many um, talented people out there, and to do what you love to do for a work is a blessing. It's a privilege, and it should never go to your head because you should just be happy you get to do what you love for work. Oh, so for me, I, I I just appreciate it. I I never. Think we're really just enjoying life and playing music but you need to just constantly put your head down and and don't don't think you're all that absolutely you know? bro that's when you kind of lose you it right that's yeah. when you lose it yeah wow and that's when you stop asking questions you know you need to ask questions to get further and so that's why you need to always be on the on the game that's awesome yeah, bro don't that's awesome want. that's so that's fire guys right there <laughs> heard it from his mouth still growing still learning and yeah. still trying to trying to go up right trying to level yeah. up dude yeah just trying to every album just trying to get not better because sometimes i think that's the thing for anybody out there that's that's um trying to be a successful entrepreneur or an artist or a creative <clears throat> person you you don't have to outbeat yourself you just mm. have to be consistent you know you can yeah. you can you because me i'm scared like i'm not gonna drop a better album than what i just did and i don't think i will but who knows <laughs> the point <laughs> the point is is you have to try you have to just try and believe in yourself and just go for it and don't try too hard um don't worry overthink it just 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 try your best to connect and network with people know your worth 
don't oversell yourself or undersell yourself and that's hard to do especially sure. with our hawaiian culture yeah because we're we're a very um down to earth culture so mm -hmm. we don't really we undersell ourselves a lot i i, I so, see that but we're proud too of ourselves yeah. but there is that there's a balance in between on yeah top there's of that. a balance so nice nice cool bro so i think you touched upon it um next thing i wanted to ask is you know you mentioned your dad so it sounds like dad was a pr probably a, a really good influence yeah or not a good influence but um, a mentor yeah kind of growing yeah. up right so can you can you share with me maybe like maybe one or two other people that kind of or, or what they did for you that kind of was like stepping stones in like I, I guess your career yeah uh, you know I, and what I, they did to help out i would say the second biggest inf influence for me was danny kennedy he's my um my manager right now and um he's the one who sang drop baby drop from Manao company Ooh. for 30 years he's been everybody knows working. that yeah. one everybody still singing yeah, that one exactly, too as well bro exactly. <laughs> and i think i just learned a lot from him because he he was the one who really told me um like really showed me how to um, properly work as a team mm. and um, and also he, he helped manage me and, and guide me into finding the right people to work with and finding the right people to work with it, it's like it's like finding you know there's so much weeds <laughs> you gotta fight you gotta like weed out all of the negative people that want to just use you and you got to find the positive people that want to help you flourish and uh, wanna wanna flourish themselves. So Uncle Danny really helped guide me to finding that right network of people nice, nice. and inspire me after 30 years of him doing a Manao company. That after 10 years of me doing it all this time, um, he helped me a lot. My music teacher at Castle High School was a huge influence for me. Um, she was always the one kind of um, guiding me to make sure I didn't let this get to my head. So oh. my, both, both my parent, my my parents and my music teacher were huge influences for me to remember that this was just a joy this wasn't a job yeah you know and it, it becomes a job and then you lose the joy I, so if, oh, you just, wow. if, you, if you keep the joy yeah yeah and you know why you do it j-o-y you do it then it's this joyful job change the b to the y yeah change the b to the y you gotta know why are you doing this and then you'll have joy in whatever job you're doing and that's how i feel you gotta know why you're doing your job because, so so you know, sorry sorry bro. No. so let me ask you bro so you still connect with your teacher yeah. to this day, bro. Yeah, yeah, still, still talk story. Yeah. yeah, whenever we go to the Hoku Awards or whatnot, I want to invite her to come with me. Wow, and, bro. Um, yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll invite her to certain events. And, and she's actually trying to help me to become a music teacher because I want to eventually teach ukulele to kids. And there I want to start go, my bro. own ukulele school for the keiki <sighs> so here in Hawaii. Right yeah, because I feel like I feel like there's um there's so many young kids out there that are so addicted to their phones and they don't know how to socialize and i feel like music is one of the hugest uniting most most uh connecting thing that allows people to be friends and if you if kids can learn how to play ukulele i would i want to be a part of that so my music teacher has been helping me oh, to try awesome. to learn how how to properly teach ukulele because i just jam i, I was gonna say how, yeah. you probably just seen dad going he's like yeah, okay i just, I just gotta go to this yeah, thing, yeah. I, I never really went through the process so you know i'm 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 really grateful to all the people that are helping me to find my way. I'm still trying to find my path. And I feel like that's how it is for every every professional. And I just keep going, you know? That's awesome, bro. Yeah. That's so awesome. All right, bro, that's 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 really awesome stuff. Um so throughout your career, bro, can you take me to a place to where maybe the unsureness came about, right? The doubt, mm. the fear, right? I think everyone, whether you know whatever job they're doing or even in life like mm. they, they, there's that pit bro that they yeah. might just stumble upon right yeah can you take me to a place where that happened and, mm. and what you did bro to, to me all of that bro. um well in any job you're gonna deal with uh you might deal with injury that affects your job and that might make you have to take off work for a very long time or and not pursue your dream that happened to me last year so last year i lost my voice and I couldn't, wow. I couldn't sing for about six months. Really? Uh, it was a long time. I mean, I couldn't really professionally do a show for like six months time. I see, I see. And so when was that- Was it because you got sick or was it-, was it what, I just what, strained what? it, like I overdid it. And so that's wow. something that I learned was I had overdo my job. I would push myself beyond my limits. Wow. And because of that, I had to take a huge step back. And that, that formed me to get depressed. I went downhill, wow. I thought that my whole life was over, and I thought that my career was over. And so that was before Round and Round, one of my songs came out. 
And so during that process of, of that time frame, I had to figure out, okay, what, what am I going to do with, if I can't heal my voice? And so that was one of the big issues for me is an injury. And what happened was just kind of humbling myself, retraining my voice to come back. And it did, it eventually came back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so you bounce back. Whatever you're going through, if it's a negative time in your life, you will bounce back. And that's what my song Round and Round is about. Um, and Summer to Winter is about. Just finding that summer that's about to come after winter. And and that's if you find those little dips in your career, just know it's gonna change, but it won't change if you don't do anything about, about it. And so you have to dig yourself out of the hole. And so I did that. I, I went through with so many different voice therapists to help me. Um, and then also like financially, sometimes you just, you, you plummet where I remember doing super well for Kaloi Kai and, and the money wasn't coming in from where I, when I thought mm. and so that is also very discouraging um, as a creative person you're trying to support yourself from your job and if your job isn't making you that income so eventually I had to try to find other ways to wiggle around to do things on my own so I went on my own mm. so I went on my own to try to make it make make music and um, that's that was a way I got to be able to save or, or make the income that I, I wanted to make. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So whatever disappointment, this, I swear there's more disappointments in any job than there are thrills. <laughs> but, it's be, and, uh, but it's like climbing a mountain. You, you can't climb up it by flying up it. Right, right. <laughs> you gotta climb right. it. And so any of you out there that are trying to follow your dream, just know it is a mountain to climb it. You have to, cl you have to put your hands out and go through every process you can and not sit at the bottom and go oh i'm never gonna get there because you won't get there if you don't move so believe in yourself work towards your dream whether it's college uh, whether it's trying to um, work for a firm or a different company you've always start from the bottom that's what i did um i still feel like i'm at the bottom um I, but i i just you gotta just keep working your way up that's all yeah believe in yourself nice yeah. nice i like i like what you said and i think another context is like one step in front of the other bro mm -hmm. and just yeah. keep keep chugging right keep yeah. going bro if you were to turn back the clock bro uh, you know on those down days and stuff what is the one thing you would tell yourself bro mm. to, to to get through it yeah i would say that looking back um i would just say do your research <laughs> Don't overthink it, don't overanalyze it, don't worry that things are gonna be for the worst because it will always end up turning around in the end. And, and it's just all about your perspective. And I wish I could have told myself back then when I was hyperventilating and panicking <laughs> yeah. in those positions yeah, to yeah. just know that life does change, you know, things do get better. And um, yeah, that's what I would just tell myself is try not to overthink it, get through it, and uh, you'll be okay. Go for it. Yeah, huh? go, go for, for it, it yeah. yeah. Don't don't go over death. Just don't overthink it. Nice, <laughs> nice. I like that. I like that because I think that's sometimes an issue, man. Like even with artists, right? Like just mm -hmm. stepping out, they might think that their song is like, oh, it's trash or yeah. whatever. You know, like yeah. there's no way. And yeah, just do it, right? Just go, chance them. Just, just chance them because <laughs> because there is nobody that will criticize your music or your self worse than yourself. So that's if you can truth. if you yeah. can get if you can get past your worst enemy, which is you then your best audience will be waiting for you. Awesome. Yeah. Bro, that's 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 good, guys. That's good. Okay, guys. so we touched upon it a little bit too. Um, I wanted to know a little bit more of your future plans. You mentioned the ukulele yeah. class and stuff yeah. like that, which is awesome way to give back to the uh, to the keiki, to the people, right? Yeah. Um, other than that, do you have any, any other future plans, bro, that, yeah. that you've been thinking about? Well, basically, I know that my future plans is to continue to write songs and release music for Kaloi Kai and I've been writing. I just want to keep writing and, and recording and just experimenting in different ways of releasing my music. Um, I would love to travel more to uh, different places to, to, to perform. And um, yeah, this ukulele school is something that I've been really thinking a lot about because there's got to be a little Roman out there that it's like 11 right now that, <laughs> that needs that direction. Or, you know, someone just like, and I just think about that. There's someone like me who's that age, who wants to learn how to play music, and I would love to be a part of that learning process. Wow, that's so awesome. I hope that works out. Yeah, know? yeah, just give them that push, yeah. bro, to go do it, man. Exactly. That's awesome, that's exactly. awesome. Exactly. All right, guys, all right, all right Roman, just, so just to wrap it up a little bit, let's tell our viewers and, and your fans, bro, how they can get in touch with you. What is the best way for them to get in touch yeah. with you, Yeah, so you guys can find me at Kaloi Kai Music on Instagram. Facebook is the uh, official uh, Kaloi Kai. You can find us there. Um, yeah, it pretty much, 
that those are the two biggest platforms for for to find me and um would love to talk to you if you have any questions about how to pursue um your your goal uh without holding back please message me and i'll definitely be happy to to answer your messages right on man and i think i gotta say bro i think like you're one of um you know i know you don't like to hear this but like you're one of the superstars bro that actually actually interact though oh. right yeah like <laughs> you actually you. answer back and and talk story with your fans as much as possible right definitely not a superstar <laughs> just a, just one uh just one kid bro that's not a guy from hawaii that's really happy to do what he does and i love i love the fans out there and um i know that all of you are trying to find your way i'm trying to find my way i still haven't found it i don't think a lot of people ever i think everyone's still trying to find their way so just know that we're all trying our best don't give up and just go for it nice nice mm-hmm. all right last one roman last question bro this is probably one of my favorite and um for our viewers too is what is your favorite quote bro your favorite scene whether you know i know you're a musician maybe it's a lyric or something mm-hmm. like that but what is a your favorite quote that you'd like to share with everyone out there that keeps you going mm-hmm. and 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 will probably keep them going too right. as well bro right. what is that um there's something that john lennon said of the beatles he said life is what is happening to you while you're busy making other plans and so i i believe in the saying that if you don't live in the present moment life is happening to you right now while you're so busy living tomorrow and so you're gonna miss every day that goes by by being an- anticipating tomorrow so try to live every day one day at a time and don't don't overstep yourself because because today will never be repeated it will never be repeated so live every day one day at a time and that's something that i try to do myself ah that is awesome <laughs> roman i gotta say thank you so much my brother appreciate it man all you guys out there as you can see this one lo- humble local brother right here making it happen fulfilling his dreams he's still not there yet guys i mean listen to him talk he's just we go yeah just one local guy like us just talking story guys over here trying to make it happen and and um bro i just see even bigger and better things for thank you. you and and keep inspiring um you're a great role model bro i gotta say for the hawaiian people and for 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 you know the islands just in general and thank you so much bro yeah. for taking the time to just talk story with us of course bro and say what's up thank you for having me no worries bro. yes right on guys all right aloha, aloha. Summer